Hello chickens, and today I'm going to be showing you redstone basics because I can. I'm not the greatest with redstone, but whatever. What the heck? Redstone basics. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. I'm eating a cheese string. Create your world. Okay, now I'm just gonna make an area. Be right back. Alright, students, and welcome to Redstone School. That sounded gay as crap. <laughs> so yeah, whatever, I just made a little school because I was poor. As a big area here. <laughs> yeah, your bells made out of butter. So, uh, <coughs> oh boy. Here we go with the basics. Oh, no. No, no. That sounded gay, too. So, as you all know, if you put a lever down, redstone, rip down the lever, it'll turn on. And it works on the ground. Side. Or on the bottom of the block. Yeah, you all probably know that. And now, to start off, well, first of all, you need to know what a repeater is. So, this is a redstone repeater, so when you turn it on, there will be a slight delay. Actually, no, there wouldn't. There won't. There will only be a slight delay if you click it. Right click it to put it, the signal down more, so there will be a slight delay. Then, stronger delay. Then, even stronger delay. So yeah, you all know that, most likely. Yeah, there is a tiny delay. So yeah, next up is redstone can only go 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <coughs> wow. Crap. Crap. There we go. Sixteen. Click the lever. We go up here, but when you get to the end, there's no particles coming off it. Uh -huh. That means that this one isn't powered. Okay. But, redstone repeaters also extend the signal, so you can use those for this. The signal is much stronger now, so it can continue. So, yeah, that's some pretty basic, easy. Uh, I don't know what has yet.
please enjoy this toad. Just kidding. So, yeah, that's some basic stuff. Uh, next up, I'm going to go into a. Uh, what's it called? 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 <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Gates, gates, gates. Sorry about that delay. Uh, I just feel really weird right now. So, first up. Okay, I messed up. Well, no, I, 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 I didn't mess up. I am messed up. I don't know what's going on. It's not right. <coughs> so first up is the not gate or the inverter. You put a lock, a lever, a torch behind it. This is called a not gate or inverter because if a signal powers a r if a ugh, if you power a redstone torch with redstone, it'll turn the torch off. Well, not with redstone, but you get the point. You can do it with redstone or whatever. If you power a redstone torch, it'll turn off. So if you do this, it'll turn the signal off. That's good if you want something like it's like this. Say raking an adventure map. Then you do this. This is a chest. Then you have to find a lever to get through it. So then you find the lever, place it down, pull it. Oh, oops. It's not sticky. Don't do the piston stuff. It's not needed. This is just an example. So, you find the lever, put it on, when you pull the lever, you can access the chest. But when it's not like that, you can't access it at all. So that is the basic inverter. Okay, next up is really easy as well. <coughs> now this is an AND gate. AND gates turn two signals into one signal. That's what they do. Yeah. Well, that's my description of what they do. So this is an AND gate. So, these levers will power this block, those blocks, this block, which power the redstone torch on it, shutting the redstone torch off. Now the redstone torches are powering this piece of redstone here. So, when you turn them off, of course they won't be powering that piece of redstone. And this redstone is powering this block, which is shutting off this torch. So if these two shut off and the redstone shuts off, this torch will turn on and let out a signal. So yeah. Turn that off, nothing happens, but turn both of them off. Converts them into a one signal, sends them out. <coughs> now the next thing is the opposite of that. This is called a NAND gate. There's AND gate and there's NAND gate. This is the complete opposite. It takes two signals and shuts off the one signal. So yeah, the exact opposite of that one. Next up we have the easiest gate ever to make, the OR gate. Da, 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 da. Now this, oh yeah, and by the way, this, the signal that you're putting into it is called the input, of course. 
and this is the output. So this <coughs> is an OR gate, very easy to make. Now, what this does is that you pull on the redstone turns on, you pull both and stuff. But the only time it'll ever turn off is if both of the levers are off. So yeah, it can be useful at times. Then of course you have the opposite. Everything has opposites these days. <coughs> cough, cough. Okay. Now this one, the only time it'll be on is if the torch, it, if the levers are off. You pull one, it's off. Blah blah blah, blah blah. So the opposite. That's called a NOR gate. Next is the ZOR gate or something like that. I'm not I'm not completely sure, but I think it's called the ZOR gate. It is probably the most complicated gate of them all. <coughs> so yeah, this is how you make it. That's a basic Zor gate. So, what this does is. Wait. Crap. What the Zor gate does is that, uh. You pull one trigger, nothing will happen. Pull the other one, nothing will happen. Why isn't it working? I tested it out before. I don't think. Wait. Uh, 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 me. Erg. Okay. This does not want to work for me. It doesn't. It really, really does not. <coughs> Hold on, I'm gonna see if I did it right. I'm gonna check on the wiki on my iPod. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm very stupid. Sorry about that. So you click the first one, the redstone signal will go through to there. If you click both, it'll turn off. So it'll only power the signal if one of them is on. Then of course, like everything, there's an opposite. This is called a Znor gate. Got it weird to say it. Znor gate. That song is so catchy. This is the Zor gate. You do this. And then this. Zor gate. Face it Zor gate. Actually, no. You could do this. But I just want to stay in the boundary, so. So this, if you put one, it's the opposite. If you take one lever, 
turn it, put it that, uh, uh, turn it on, the signal will go off. But if you do two of them, the signal will go on. Okay. So we'll do that basic. That's basically it for the gates. Uh, I have nothing to say. So there you guys have it. So I'll see you in episode two. Goodbye.